Hello and welcome back to another video here at Fisco Voyage. I'm Felix and today's video we're going to talk about the uh, five and a lot more of different companies that's going to report earnings or the third quarter earnings results uh, later this week. Some of the big companies Tesla, AT&T, Coca-Cola, Lockheed Martin um, and a whole bunch of other different companies. So in this video we're going to talk about a few of those different companies earnings report and see what the valuation of this company, what analysts are expecting for the earnings report and, and such. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as check out my free ebook in the description below. So here are the most anticipated earnings release for next week uh, starting October 19th. As you can see here, some of the big name companies that I'm looking forward to in the earnings release are IBM, uh, PPG, as you can see here, Procter & Gamble, Lockheed Martin, uh, Tuesday opening, um, as well as Snap, uh, Netflix, we got here as well Travelers, uh, Abbott Lab, Tesla, on um, Wednesday after close, Chipotle, Lam Research, Verizon, uh, Wednesday is going to be a very big day, as you can see here, CSX, uh, Train Industry, Discover, um, NASDAQ, some other ones here, AT&T on Thursday uh, uh, morning, Coca-Cola, Intel on Thursday afternoon, uh, Southwest Airlines, to see how this, uh, the airline industry is doing, Capital One, financial industry, as well as in closing up in Friday, some big ones, ITW, uh, Illinois Tools Work. Um, some here I'm not too familiar with, uh, American Express another one I personally own and you know, I'm looking forward to this one. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about some of these um, stocks that are in high anticipated uh, earnings and look at the valuation, see what could possibly happen and see what analysts are expecting for these uh, earnings for this coming week. So the first one we're going to look at is IBM, uh, International Business Machine Corporation. You can see here this is what Yahoo uh, currently estimates for the third quarter uh, results. So there's about 12 analysts and this is for next quarter, uh, fourth quarter results in, that ends in December 2020. You can see here uh, average estimate is about $2.58 uh, and it's lower than the projected next quarter of $4.45. Revenue, it is expected to be down about 2.7% or 3% and next quarter is expected to be down by 4.5%. Uh, but overall, you can see here, analysts are expecting next five year earnings to be growing at a very modest rate of 2.85. Uh, analyst price target average at 136 versus a current price of 125. So we look at the fast graph, the company does look undervalued based on the fast graph and earnings are expected to be up um, down this year but up next year by 11% and 2022 by 6%. As you can see here the company has been struggling um, for the past three, four, five years uh, where earnings has been on the downtrend here. You see negative 10, negative 9, uh, up in 2017 by 2%, flat in 2018, down in 2019 and down this year of course with the economic shutdown and stuff like that. But IBM looks to be turning it around. They're going to split the company sometime next year. So I'm very hopeful for this as well. You can see here the green dots represents my buying position. So I am under um, slightly uh, with IBM. It looks like it's going to pick up. Uh, but I think I'm positive because of all the dividends I've been collecting. Uh, but overall I am down in capital sense. But let's look at the next company. All right. The next anticipated earnings release is Procter Gamble, ticker symbol PG. You can see here analysts are expecting about an average of $1.41. Uh, for the quarter and a dollar forty eight cents for the following quarter, uh, giving it uh, a decent increase. You can see here sales to growth is expected to be up three percent for this quarter and up three point six percent for uh, the fourth quarter. So that's positive news. And uh, for the next five year, earnings are expected to be up about seven point seven percent growth rate. You can see here the price analyst targets give it at a average of 141. We're currently at 144, so it's slightly overvalued based on Yahoo estimates. But if we look at fast graph, uh, Procter Gamble is very overvalued. You can see here with a P of 27, and the company is only growing at a 6-7% rate. So that's very concerning to me about the valuation of uh, Procter Gamble. You can see here earnings yield at 36 
Um, overall, solid company. I actually owned this company for a few years, and I sold it about this time period for a profit. Um, but now that um, Proctor Gamble is actually higher than that, um, you know, I'm happy with the, the sell of this position during this time. But you can see here, it does look overvalued. I would like to see it, you know, with a P of around uh, 20 or 18, uh, maybe even lower than that, because the the growth rate is very low here, about 7%, as you saw from Yahoo and what FastGraph is anticipating. Key Martin is the third company here that I'm um, looking forward to, ticker symbol LMT. You can see here, analysts are expecting a $6.09 for the quarter and $6.24 for the fourth quarter. Uh, so that's very nice growth there. Uh, sales to growth is supposed to be up 6.2% and 4.8% for the fourth quarter. And analysts are expecting a five-year earnings growth of about 9% or 8.97%. You can see here the company looks to be undervalued um, based on Yahoo uh, analysts. Fair price at 435. We're currently at 386. If we look at the fast graph, it does look to be fairly valued here based on fast graph. We sure in this time period. Um, you can see here has a nice P of 16 with a growth of 10, 11%. Uh, for the next foreseeable future. Uh, earnings yield is decent at 6.14, a decent dividend yield of 2.69, high credit rating of A-. minus. So overall, Lockheed Martin does look good at current price. It's not extremely undervalued. You can see here, uh, whenever we had a PE of 15, looks like it was the perfect buying opportunity uh, to buy Lockheed Martin. But right now, it's a decent buy at 16 uh, PE multiple, and you can have a nice total annual rate of return, about 15.1. So let's look at the next big ones. So Netflix here is the next one. Let's look at Yahoo. Uh, analysts are expecting an average estimate of $2.13 of earnings uh, for the third quarter and $0.94 for the fourth quarter. Uh, sales growth is expected to grow at a very nice rate of 21% and 20% in the fourth quarter. Um, analysts are expecting earnings growth of about 35%, so that's very positive growth. Uh, it looks to be fairly valued here. Uh, analysts are uh, average score or price of $526 currently at $530. So we go back to the fast graph. You can see here the company does look overvalued based on the fast graph, even though it's growing earnings at a very high rate of 50%, 40%. Um, if, I, if I saw this company more at a ratio of uh, 40 or 50, I think it would be a good buying opportunity. But right now with a high uh, valuation, it, you know, even though it looks like you have potential to make a profit but the risk of a, of a drop because of bad quarter or you know a bad year um, is could present a uh, risk because of the company's looks to be overvalued here with a P of 92 even though they're growing at a decent rate of about 40 percent to 30 uh, percent but analysts are expecting about 20 percent growth uh, for Netflix but this is going to be a very exciting earnings release uh, coming this week. Tesla is going to be a big one uh, coming this week. I'll probably make a video on that uh, once they release earnings and we'll look at uh, their earnings uh, report. Uh, but you can see here, analysts are expecting an average of 56 cents in profit a share for the company for the third quarter and 75 cents for the fourth quarter. Um, revenue is expected to be 31% higher uh, year over estimate and 20% for the fourth quarter. Uh, Next five years, a whopping 355% in earnings growth. Uh, you can see here analysts for Yahoo are expecting a average price of $309, currently at $439. Means it might be overvalued based on the Yahoo estimates here. Uh, looking at FastCraft for operating cash flow, you can see here the company uh, does look to be overvalued uh, with a price to operating cash flow of $120 versus a norm of about uh, 28 so I think a price to operating cash flow about 30 or 35 should be fairly uh, priced there. But you can see here, it looks to be overvalued. Um, but we'll see what happens with the earnings report for Tesla. AT&T is another big company uh, that I'm looking forward to. Hopefully they're uh, tackling that debt. Uh, I would like to see a big decrease in the debt uh, level. So let's see what happens with the earning release. You can see here, average estimate about 76 cents uh, per share and 75 cents for the fourth quarter. Uh, revenue is expected to be down this year actually at 6.7% and 5.7% for the fourth quarter. Uh, but overall, analysts are expecting earnings to grow very, very low here at 
three percent uh, for the next five years. I don't think that's. I think it may be about two or three percent, but that's a different story. Average. The price for the company is thirty-one dollars and ninety-six cents. Currently, it's undervalued at twenty-seven dollars. Uh, you can see here the fast graph. Um, analysts are expecting one percent for twenty twenty-one and four percent for twenty twenty-two. Uh, this year, of course, with the economic shutdown, it's down 11% in earnings, but the dividend is very well covered. Earnings yield of almost 12%, with a very nice dividend yield of 7.6%. Uh, we're showing this time period. You can have a nice growth here of about 28% annual rate of return, including uh, dividends and capital appreciation. So it's very attractive there. Uh, so I'm very excited for the earnings report for AT&T. So the last company I'm going to cover here. Uh, American Express Company, ticker symbol AXP. You can see here, analysts are expecting $1.33 uh, for the third quarter and $1.44 for the fourth quarter. Uh, revenue is expected to be down huge at 21% and 15% in the fourth quarter. Uh, but earnings are expected to grow at a 9.4% rate for the next five years. The company looks to be fairly valued based on the Yahoo estimates here. Uh, if we look at the fast graph, um, you can see here earnings dropped a whopping 56% or expected to drop 56% for the year for fiscal year 2020. Uh, but picking up very nicely by 93% for 2021 and 31% in 2022. So it could present a nice buying opportunity for this company. You can see here a decent annual rate of return about 13.3%. Um, it looks to be fairly valued to slightly overvalue here uh, based on the fast graph. Yield. Earnings yield of 4.24, uh, low dividend yield of 1.6, but the company is a solid triple B plus credit rating. It has a, a really a pretty high long-term debt to cap ratio, but overall the dividend looks to be safe, and the growing the company is growing earnings uh, right after this year, you know, 93%, 31%. So um, the potential to definitely increase uh, the price appreciation, even though it's overvalued, but the market, you know, when they see, you know, 90% growth, 30% growth, the price uh, tends to uh, follow that growth rate very quickly. So those are the, some of the companies that I'm looking forward to, the earnings report, and there's others as well that I didn't mention in this video. Um, so make sure to subscribe to the channel because as earnings reports start coming out, I'm going to be making videos on these companies, for example, Tesla, AT&T, uh, Coca-Cola. So some of these other big companies, I'm going to be making uh, videos to talk about their uh current earnings report once they release it so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as check out my free ebook in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next one